Everyone who is connected with off-road and off-road knows the price of progress and is distrustful of everything new, especially that which is accompanied by revolutionary technologies and incredible breakthrough. The Jeep brand in this sense has been balancing between the requirements of the market, the ideas of designers, common sense and traditions for quite a long time. But if we talk about the revolution, then the Grand Cherokee WK2 will be the most successful example, and the most successful, as shown by the operation. The Grand Cherokee WK2 series debuted exactly six years ago, in April 2009, at the New York Auto Show. Why not in Detroit? There was some ulterior motive in this, partly because it was built on someone else's platform, and the Big Apple is a cosmopolitan city partly so that as many non-specialists as possible look at it. It is believed that the general public is reluctant to visit Detroit, and in New York there are always crowds of come in large numbers. Sales began only a year later, in the summer of 2010, and in the fall the fourth generation brand appeared in Russia. Looking ahead, I want to say that the WK2 has become a real lifeline for the Russian Jeep, and although it had almost no advertising and promotion on the market, the success was stunning. At first, everyone thought that this was actually an ML class, only $20,000 cheaper, and after that they already tried it and advised their friends. Indeed, the Grand Cherokee outperformed its German cousin in some ways, even in terms of ergonomics and finishes. In 2013, the WK2 was restyled and technologically updated. External changes seemed insignificant, but in fact the second generation is practically a different car, at least judging by the problems that arise with it. Therefore, we will only touch on the first-generation WK2, which was produced from 2010 to 2013. During this period, three gasoline and one diesel engines were installed on the SUV. The base was a V-shaped six-cylinder atmospheric gasoline engine of the Pentastar series with a capacity of 286 horsepower. The Limited and Overland were equipped with the great and mighty 5.7 Hemi with 352 horsepower. Since 2011, a new SRT has appeared with a naturally aspirated 6.4 V8 that produced 465 horsepower at its peak. With, however, the main thing in this engine is not power and not even torque, but the sound, which, like a boa constrictor, hypnotizes the future owner and does not let go. Of the grand diesel engines, the Italian 3.0 liter V6 of the A630 series with multi-jet 2 technology got. It develops 241 horsepower, and 550 newton meters of thrust. Versions with the Mercedes diesel engine of the same volume of the OM642 series without a phase control system and derated to 190 horsepower were also delivered to European markets. With all Grand Cherokee transmissions were automatic. With a base 3.6 liter engine, with a diesel engine and with a 6.4 V8, they installed a 5-speed Mercedes 722.5, which Jeep renamed the W5A580. In fact, this transmission turned out to be the most reliable. Depending on the engine, the main pairs changed. On the 5.7 Hemi, a 5-speed Chrysler 5-45 RFE was first installed, which also does not sin with failures. In 2012, it was replaced by a 6-speed version, and again without problems. Drive Grand Cherokee 4th Generation Permanent All-Wheel Drive with Locking Center Differential. In base North America, the transfer case was single speed and a reduction gear was offered as an option, and this drive was called the Quadratrack I. The Quadratrack 2 and Quadradrive 2 had transfer cases with a reduction ratio of 2.72:1. In the Quadradrive 2 version, the rear differential was also locked. Quadralift air suspension was also an option and had three civilian and two off-road positions with a maximum ground clearance of 282 millimeters. Most of the problems for the owners of the Grand Cherokee WK2 in the early years were delivered by the air suspension. The reason was a factory defect, or rather, an error in laying the suspension lines. The compressor also cannot be called well located, in front, almost under the bumper in the wheel well. When driving over rough terrain, it could be damaged. Oddly enough, the manufacturer did not announce a recall or service campaign in connection with this defect, and our mechanics had to deal with it themselves. Here they are bent, there they will knock. In general, they have learned to more or less cope, but the Jeep may well lie on the belly. The most reliable engine was the base 3.6 liter. In fact, some people find it weak. But if you spur it mercilessly, then breakdowns associated with general premature wear are inevitable.
but when the owner does not miss maintenance and services the car from qualified craftsmen, then there should be no problems. By the way, he does not eat oil at all. Amazing metamorphoses in the engine-building world, the Germans, who have always been famous for their moderate appetite both in terms of fuel and oil, now like to eat both, but the Americans, on the contrary, are very restrained. It is worse for the owners of the coveted Mercedes diesel engine. He really dislikes poor quality fuel. Even adding additives is not recommended. The high-pressure fuel pump is damaged. Common rail diesel and high-pressure fuel pump is an extremely loaded unit. One bad gas station, and he starts whistling. It is very important not to try to flush it and not to run in fright to the nearest diesel mechanic. You just need to refuel at a proven gas station with fuel with detergent properties, and if this does not help, then go to an authorized service. The second most common trouble is a problem with the EGR valve, or rather, with its cooling system. If it is damaged, the engine starts to work unstably, the emergency indicator lights up and fuel consumption increases. Otherwise, this diesel engine is just a dream, it is high torque, fast and economical. On a full gas station, you can drive 1000 km on the highway. At the famous Hemi, the PSV valve, a system for supplying oil to the engine heads, sometimes falls ill while the check engine lights up on the dashboard. The problem can be solved once and for all during maintenance. When operating Hemi, it is important not to mess with the oil. Only 5W20 is poured with tolerances allowed by the manufacturer, and no less than the regulations prescribe. Do not forget about the candles, and there are 16 of them. In general, the millionaire motor has long enjoyed a well-deserved reputation for being ultra-reliable. It, if you are interested, is actively used in small aircraft. The Grand Cherokee WK2 actually has one big problem. Although no, two. The first is melting headlights, the second is monstrous quality chrome. The rest can be solved without serious expenses. It happens, for example, that the actuator of the stove damper gets stuck, and the antifreeze circulates only in a large circle. Then, from under the hood, a deep buzz begins to be heard, as if a small diesel locomotive has settled there. It happens that the Cardan outboard bearing begins to bite due to the fact that they overlooked a torn anthem. A non-rhythmic vibration appears, which gradually intensifies. There are no systematic problems with the interior decoration and equipment. Rarely, but navigation is buggy, requiring you to change the firmware or just reboot. The upholstery and panels are made and fit perfectly. The bodywork is incredibly strong and crickets are extremely unlikely. Atypical for Jeep but quite rarely fails electrical equipment. Even light bulbs don't burn out every week. New Grand Cherokee bought willingly and a lot. As a rule, these cars are loved, followed, and rarely used as traveling cars in the tail and in the main. Now they are still quite expensive, but given the rapid change of generations, they are becoming more affordable. In my opinion, the best choice would be a car in the limited version with a 3.6-liter engine, spring suspension, and Quadratrack 2 drive. It will not be difficult to sell it, and it will not be expensive to maintain, and in terms of its capabilities and abilities it is not inferior to much more expensive competitors and relatives. Well, if you have especially high-octane gasoline in your veins, try SRT. You will not regret.